Uh, the rest of this, the floors were done, the painting was done. Just need some touch up, put some blinds up. Otherwise, the tenants team tend to do bad things, hanging or drilling, you know, putting nail holes in and everything like that. Hang blankets or sheets. Again, this is overall pretty good shape. Let's clean this up a little bit. There's a blind there. Get a an actual blind that fits. Get a new light. Get an LED so you don't have to worry about it. Tenants are lazy when it comes to changing light bulbs. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. I got you one coming to you in Detroit, baby. One, two, three, four, two. Griggs, Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Coming to y'all at 105. Now, what I got for y'all. A hundred five thousand dollar duplex with a market rent of twenty two hundred dollars a month, y'all. That's why Detroit is one of the most popular markets for out of state investors. Now, this kind of falls in the middle of like those two types of properties that I think a lot of out of state investors think they need to buy, right? There are more options, and this is a perfect example of it right so like a lot of y'all think the only way to buy out-of-state properties is to quote unquote quote unquote air quotes baby buy a turnkey property from a turnkey provider meaning they already put the tenants in it and they're going to then charge you a massive premium right or you could buy totally distressed like you buy like a just a jacked up foreclosure and then you do like a $50,000 reno, right? And then like you burr it out, right? I talk to investors all the time. And when they're looking at these kind of markets, like markets like Detroit, they think that's all they have. They're like, oh, I want to go turnkey or I got to do huge renos and build this huge, massive team. Guys, in the middle is where I live. In the middle is where I think y'all do the best, right? And that's what this property is, okay? There is one tenant paying 900 they got well over a, a 12 months left on that current lease, right? Market rent, 1100 right? The PM will probably be able to increase that rent at the end of that lease term, okay? Rents have been going way up in Detroit, right? So when they placed that tenant, that was probably market rent. Rents are going freaking sky high, dude. Thank Joe Biden for that kind of stuff. I don't know, but it's good for us as investors that rents keep going up, right? Sucks that mortgages go up, but guess what? Mortgage rates, they go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. Rents, they only fucking go up, okay? So you already have cash flow coming in, very close to market rate tenant, a couple hundred bucks at the next uh, 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 lease renewal. Logical should be able to knock that out for you. And then the other unit, right, uh, as you'll see, and I'm going to, at the end of this video, show you the full unedited tour from the owner of Logical Property Manager, right? That unit's vacant. Tenant just moved out. They left it pretty crummy. Uh, but it's just like small, minor things. You don't have to do like a full, massive, crazy renovation with like cranes and dump trucks and shit like that. No, no, no. You take a property manager, like logical property management, who can handle the whole turn for you, right? And the owner is out there on site giving you an exact breakdown of every single thing you need to do, right? And whenever I do deals in Detroit, just so you guys are aware, Logical, when I'm doing my business in Detroit, I do my business with Logical. Drew and his team, they're the folks I utilize, right? You don't necessarily have to utilize them if you don't want to. Uh, you could do it on your own, but I don't know why you would. I mean, they got it all taken care of. You don't have to go the route of, like, building out this whole, like, separate team, your core four or whatever, right? Like, they are literally a one-stop shop that could help you through everything. So you could take a property like this that isn't, like, a full-blown gut job reno, and they'll help you get it to a turnkey condition, dude. They're providing you guys, essentially the turnkey experience, the turnkey product, but like without the major turnkey markup, right? And uh, that's how I've always felt that investing should be, right? I think that's like the better path for out-of-state investors, right? Houses like this that are just like in the middle, right? Need a little bit of love to get them back on track, restabilize. You have a PM team in place who could handle that. So I, I think that's great, right? So you spend a moderate amount of money uh, in Stay tuned to the end of the video because Drew's going to literally walk through the whole thing with you. And he's like literally throwing out numbers on how much he would charge for it. And that's literally the guy who's going to be running the rental for you, giving you the bid right then and there. Right. So you get all your ducks in a row 
and then you'll be able to have something that's got a rent projection, market rent projection of 2,200 a month, right? Uh, you've probably seen Logical's info and contact info on the chart. They are who you're going to contact should you decide you want to move forward with this property, right? So you'll contact Logical directly and they'll be able to negotiate the sale with you. And then after the sale, you could bring them on to handle, to manage, to oversee uh, your PM and your renovation to get you on board, to get you rocking and rolling for that $2,200 a month. And the duplex, again, only $105,000. That's why people from all over the USA are coming here on Holton Wise TV to watch us talk about properties in the best markets, Detroit being right up at the top. I'll leave you guys now with Drew giving you that walkthrough scope of work bid, giving you some nice little insight too, right? Explaining to you what he's going to do and why he's going to do it. Let's go. All right, we've got a opportunity here on uh, Griggs Street. It's a duplex up in Lower Flats. If you look here, a little bit of work needed on the outside, not too much. Um, mostly newer windows already. Glass block in the basement. The, the lower unit's already tenanted. You know, a lot of work's been done to the porch already and stuff like this. This has been painted. So this is a driveway right here with a garage. So the house could be sided, but so far it's been painted. Obviously that needs to be painted up there. That was some work done, but does need to be painted. Let's go look at the upper unit, which uh, just became vacant. We have to evict the tenants. So uh, these these door uh, floor um, steps could be refinished or worn a little bit. Again, new windows, relatively recent, recently. Some painting needs to be done here. Nothing too major. Got to debris out the unit. Tenants were evicted. Got a nice balcony here that needs some work done on it though. It's always B-board, you don't put that down. See the hole over there? So this needs to be redone. Uh, it's a couple grand on that, possibly. Uh, the rest of this, the floors were done, the painting was done. Just need some touch up, put some blinds up. Otherwise, tenants team tend to do bad things, hanging or drilling, you know, putting nail holes in and everything like that, to hang blankets or sheets. Again, this is overall pretty good shape. Let's clean this up a little bit. There's a blind there, get a, an actual blind that fits. Get a new light, get an LED so you don't have to worry about it. Tenants are lazy when it comes to changing light bulbs. We could take all these off. These have been painted 50 times or so. We got a place that can sandblast those, put them back on because some of them are hard to match. Uh, replace. Again, this is all pretty much okay. Maybe take that off again and sandblast it. Same with that one. Get a better blind. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. I'm not sure what's underneath. Uh, this might need to be redone. Don't know why they didn't do this. They threw this rug in here. Paint that to match. Again, got a little bit of damage up here. Possibly related to that outside thing. Again, blinds, you know, the doors are okay. Just finish them up a little bit. This, we're probably gonna have to take this all out and redo this floor correctly. It's got a couple layers on it, um, but that shouldn't be too difficult to do. Fix the wall and uh, maybe actually do a better shower enclosure of some sort. This, these never work. They always trash them. Good news is there's already a glass block there. Maybe take this apart and redo it somehow so it's Got 50 layers of paint, LED lights again. It's already got a GFCI. And obviously that's got to be fixed because that was not installed correctly by the last company. Um, just got a shelf here, linen closet, no big deal. Uh, yeah, another light right there. So we need a transition strip here to stop this from happening, getting any worse. Uh, this is pretty standard tile, so we could probably um, fix it. But <laughs> just FYI, look how that's about a good half inch, maybe two thirds of an inch because of all the layers. Um, this is okay. We can fix this. Maybe paint these. I'm not sure if it makes sense. Make sure they're textured, something on them to protect them. So I think people don't get things uh, messing it all up. Put an LED bar there, LED there. Not much you can do here. It is what it is. So, um, yeah, not that much work here, actually. Three to five grand tops, I would imagine. 
so um, on the inside but again we do have to get that outside roof issue taken care of so this could be yours cash flow on this is going to be pretty good contact us for more information and get it before it goes thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment